BYU student Kate Hansen is preparing for the ride of her life. The California native earned a spot on the Olympic luge team and recently won the World Cup finale in Latvia, a first for the American women in 17 years. Get to know the luge coog with BYU TV's Kathy Aiken. 21-year-old Kate Hansen puts on her helmet as she gets ready for another dangerous race down the ice. A luge ride that tops 80 miles per hour and takes less than a minute. Tell us what it's like going that fast in that short a period of time. You put on a face shield and you pull off and you, it's just like, like it's so much just like power in one moment and you pull off as hard as you can, paddle as hard as you can and then as soon as you land your sled it's complete zen, like relaxation and you're just trying to calm your breathing and just to make sure that you are relax and you're just goo in your sled. And so what happens is as soon as you lay down, it's just tunnel vision. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Everything else is blurry and all you see is just right above your toes. As every curve comes, it's just reaction. It's just, because if you think, it's too late. You're going fast, you hear yourself going fast, and sometimes you go fast enough that you start tearing up. It's, it gets pretty insane. Hansen began her career as a luge athlete when she was just 10 years old. Her father took her to a tryout in her hometown of La Quinata, California. And they put a helmet on me, pushed me down a hill, and the rest is history. So. The California surfer girl was a natural. She began training in Park City at age 12 and just three years later was a junior world champion. But four years ago, Hansen barely missed a chance for the Vancouver Olympics, a devastating disappointment. Anytime the Olympic rings would cross my mind in any situation, I would do an extra set. I'd run an extra mile. I'd do 10 extra push-ups. I'd eat an extra bowl of salad. I would wake up early. Like, anytime it crossed my mind, I would do go the extra mile for it. And I think I think I needed to lose the last Olympics for all of that to happen. Since then, Hansen has dedicated the last four years for redemption. Four years of sweat and tears, even a broken foot. All for the chance of winning gold. Hansen said she can't wait to race in Sochi, and walking in the opening ceremonies with the world's best will be an emotional dream come true. I mean, obviously, I think like being at the Olympics, like you're on a world stage, and there's a lot of attention on you, and like I think it's just like the perfect example, like for the church and like for the gospel, and I think that everything does happen for a reason, and so I think this is a complete missionary experience. An experience that first began 10 years ago. 10 years from now, I mean, I'd like to be married, like to have a family, and. Living in California and just living the dream, I guess. And I surfing, know. right? Oh, of course, always. Kathy Aiken joins us now on set. And Kathy, Kate's a fun, laid-back personality, total California girl. She's riding a huge wave of confidence after winning that World Cup event. What are her chances of meddling in Sochi? Well, Spencer, I asked her that question, and she kind of laughed at me. She says, you know, I'm not even planning on being <laughs> at the podium. But since that World Cup win, you never know. One bad turn from her competition, and she could be right there. That's a great thing about the Olympics. Anything can happen. She's ranked number seven in the world, so certainly she has a shot. Is she worried about the security in Sochi, Russia? I know there's been a lot of talk about that. How's that shaping up? Yeah, I asked her that as well, and she said that they, all the athletes have been told that these will be the most secure Olympics. But the unfortunate thing is they were told if they go outside the village not to wear their USA clothing. I think that's unfortunate that they, they can't do that, but she's not worried about it. Have you seen the opening ceremony sweaters that they have? Yes, I have. Oh, they are, they are fantastic. <laughs> they are Something. Looking forward to that, and so is Kate. How long does she want to compete? Well, she said she's not quite sure. You know, she's been doing this for several years, but she's only 21, so that's very young in this particular sport. But uh, to see how she's grown from going four years ago to barely missing and then making the team this year, she said she'll keep her options open, but she's really looking forward to coming back to BYU to go to school in the spring and, and get back to full-time schoolwork. That was a great story, Kathy. Thank, Thank you so you. much for that. Thank <laughs> you.